guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. We have another Mark V Golf GTI on the channel today, but this one, this one I've been wanting to feature for quite a while actually, because as you see, it is pretty nuts. It's running around 370 brake for a K04 Turbo. However, power isn't really the main aspect of this car, purely because this is an out and out track car. It's wide body, it's been completely resprayed. The air on this thing is pretty nuts. So yeah, very, very excited to feature this thing today. Unfortunately, we're not on the track, but I think on the road it'll probably be a little bit more fun purely because it's really not designed to be there um, but obviously still road legal uh, and all of that jazz but yeah I'll introduce you to Shannon the owner very shortly have a walk around the car because he has done most of the work himself on this car before we go out on the roads and enjoy this 370 brake wide-bodied Mark V GTI. Okay, so we're joined now with Shannon, the owner, the man behind this wacky Mark V. Mate, thank you very much for, for coming on the channel today. Thanks for popping down. Um, been wanting to film this for a while, like I mentioned on the intro. It's changed actually quite a lot since we first started speaking, I think. It was probably before the respray and actually during the wide body, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. It was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's obviously, well, I wouldn't say complete because it will never be complete, will no, it? But, no, never that. Um, but yeah, mate, it's looking absolutely insane. We have the bonnet up obviously first, so if it's okay to give us a bit of a run around kind of what we're looking yeah, at here. Yeah, no worries. So just a standard BWA, untouched. Mm -hmm. The only real things done is a balance shaft elite and the rocket cover really to the engine. Yeah. Um, other than that, just a KO4 strapped on, yeah, yeah. S3, the injectors, all mm -hmm. of that fun stuff. Yeah. Running meth, not for power, mainly for cooling, yeah. reliability. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Good idea to be fair. And then obviously all the usual bolt-ons, induction kit, high pressure fuel pump as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this motorsport one. Yeah, what's this over here, catch can? Yeah, yeah. Uh, custom made catch nice. can. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got obviously all the usual intercooler, all cooler, that kind of thing. Yeah, so well. it's an alloy, uh, alloy ended S3 cooler, yeah. nothing too special. It's enough for what I'm running. 25 row oil cooler. Fair play, fair play. I want to do this to mine actually. Because it does look quite cool, I think. Yeah. Obviously, extra cooling. Yeah, de the definitely behind. helps with the cooling, uh, especially with the custom crash bar behind as well. Nice yeah. thin crash bar to help actually get oh, yeah. air to it all. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I'm liking this as well. A lot of custom work. Titanium. Yeah, so, yeah, this is a good friend of mine, Eddie. Um, that's titanium intake, fully mm -hmm. custom. Really nice, did all my boost pipes as well, so yeah. we don't have the horrible sandwich yeah. sandwich throttle pipe. Yeah, yeah. Was it running around 370 at the moment? Yeah, just a, just a yeah. fraction of it, yeah, 370. And it's a manual yeah. car as well. Yeah, so manual. Clutch, what have you done there? Um, it's a Helix with a single mass flywheel, okay. yeah, uh, yeah. paddle clutch. Nice. Um, with a wave track LSD in there as okay. well. Okay, yeah. It's still front wheel drive as well. Still front wheel drive, yeah. 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 It did look for the all wheel drive option, but yeah. Yeah, Got front wheel drive a little fun. Yeah, yeah. No, fair play. Um, visually as well, obviously, it's it's pretty rowdy. The colour, well, yeah, tell us about that because yeah. it's a full respray, it's um, not wrap. Yeah, no, it is a full respray done in house. Um, within a week, a bit of a rush job. But yeah. It is only a track car, so yeah. we're, not, we're not too uh, too worried about it. It isn't Nardo Grey, as many people <laughs> think it is. It's yeah. uh, Porsche Crayon Grey. Nice. So okay. a little bit different to, to the usual Nardo. Yeah, yeah. It suits it quite well, actually. Yeah. You've obviously still got the typical GTI red touches. Yeah, or That's just to cool. try and blend in a bit with the calipers and, yeah, and other yeah. bits, yeah. Um, the wide body, uh, is that custom or is it? No, so the arches are uh, ABS, okay. uh, who make yeah. a lot of the British touring car kits. This oh, okay. is the Super 2000 arch Ooh, kit. Okay. Looked in British touring car front end. Yeah, yeah. Um, just too much money, really, if I put it into a tire ball for <laughs> yeah. a bumper and arches. Yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. So that's just the all four arches, I guess. Isn't yeah, it? and then the side skirts are custom, okay. uh, shaped. Yeah off of a Mark 1 Leon Cooper R. Okay, yeah, fair play. Fair play, you got any plans for any more aero? Big wings, something uh, like that? Yeah, big wing, yeah. possible diffuser as well. Nice. Uh, wings in development at the moment. Yeah. Don't yeah, want to run the typical suppose... BYC. I'd like yeah. to be a little bit different if I can. I suppose at the moment you haven't got anything in terms of a diffuser. No. You? It's literally just an exhaust. <laughs> just obviously. a bit of a bumper cut, yeah, yeah. the rear valance was just cut out a bit. Oh, fair play, and yeah, like I said, still road legal. We're taking it on the road today. Do you use it on the road much? Um, no, not unless the weather's nice like this yeah. weekend, but yeah. no, it's actually horrible to it's drive on the road. <laughs> I can imagine it is, I can imagine it is. Like mine actually, you've got polycarbonate windows yep. all round apart all round. from the windscreen. Apart right. from the screen, that'll be yeah. going heated, uh, yeah. hopefully over winter as well, pull the screen out for a heated yeah. screen. In. That's a good idea actually, because yeah. you, you've also got no AC. I've got no AC, no heaters, no so nothing. So you need yeah. something to clear the screen if yeah. need be. That's fair enough. Um, and then one final thing, uh, the usual kind of wheels, brakes, yeah, uh, so suspension. I've got 10 
team dynamics, all different tyres on, depending on what track yeah, I'm on yeah. or what day it is. But yeah, 9Js, 18 by 9 all okay. round yeah. um, on the wheels. Tyres are obviously a mix, so I won't bore you into that. Yeah, yeah. Um, brakes, enough. just DB9 calipers or a TTRS caliper that's with um, funky, yeah. the Raylan 370 disc. Nice. The rears are just off of a, like R32, the bigger brake. Yeah. I can't remember what size yeah. they are now, 310, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, suspension, just a set of BC coilovers. Mm -hmm. Camp Fulton, being yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm a Powerflex dealer, so we've got a full black bush kit throughout nice. the whole car. Wicked. Now, there is obviously a full build on the interior, but yes. that's I think, deserves a whole scene to itself when we're out in the car, because there's obviously a lot which has been done in there. Obviously, fully caged, bucket seats, the usual. Um, but I think we'll get out of it first before we go into that. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty interesting out on the road. Yeah, A lot hopefully. wider than normal, so it's going to be interesting. So yeah, let's get it fired up and, uh, and head on out. Brilliant. sort me out the cage and a few other little bits on yeah. the car. Other than that, a lot of it's obviously, there's not really a lot of custom yeah. works, all bolt on yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, works and, and whatever, yeah. sticker here somewhere I'm yeah. not actually too sure they are <laughs> they're, they're just carbon they're they look cool, cool. Anyway, yeah. and they're very good for a nice small person like myself yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. certainly hug so yeah definitely um I think probably some people probably would have noticed the roof scoop yeah. which is actually functional yeah. very <laughs> as you've just probably felt very yeah. functional yeah which is nice so basically it's well, it's essentially your air conditioning I guess isn't it yeah yeah <laughs> the, these seem to do nothing at all so yeah. So yeah, we've got to have something to try and keep a bit cool yeah, in the I car. Mean, mate, it, it's a proper thing. And there's been like a load of, like you said, custom work in terms of like the relocation of things. Yeah. Because obviously with the Mark V, a lot of things have come down here. Aren't yeah, they? and you just, it's just very, yeah, difficult. And it's just nice to, nice to, yeah, to, to hit things. It. There'll be more sort of gauges, just run at oil pressure over here. I'd run the Polar FIS, so a lot of it is all through the dash anyway. Yeah. Um, I do have a boost gauge just mounted under here, but yeah. I don't really tend to use that. I use the one in the dash again, but yeah. that will be going in here at some point. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you've got plans to go uh, forged, fully yeah. forged engine. Do you reckon you'll keep the code for? Maybe up it a bit. It, it goes well, but I, I yeah. feel it's right on the right on the limits, on the limit. and I'd rather run a bigger turbo, not for bigger power, but for more to have more room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you know, the injectors are probably at the end of their duty cycle, really, or yeah. right up there. And, so yeah, we'd rather just have a big turbo. If I want to push more power, I can. But on the track, this is what it's built for. I mean, there's definitely no shortage of power. No, I mean, no. obviously being so light, it. I mean, from back there, it absolutely flies. Yeah, I'm, I'm not flies. sure what it weighs yet. I do need yeah. to weigh it. Yeah. A lot of people, from what I've done, including hacking out the loom, bits of loom I didn't need, we, yeah. I went to town with just trying to save weight where I could. A lot yeah, of people think so. it should be under the 1100, which would be really good. Proper. Yeah, yeah, even from a fourth gear four wheel. That's four. <laughs> Body 
obviously a huge benefit so then you can run wider wheels yeah times. so i do run a 265 a lot of the time on track at the moment which is on a 245 yeah and um, it was really to go for slicks at some point yeah. um when i get a bit you know a bit more confident with the car on track I'm, i want to push into slicks yeah yeah uh, and see how we get on with some slick tires for it i mean a wide body option is is definitely something i'm thinking of for mine yeah is there many people that do a wide body on a Mark 7? I don't think there is. I don't think there is, because it's a, it's a little bit niche, I suppose, but yeah. it's definitely something which I'd like to do, because it looks mental. I mean, from the front, this thing just looks the Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it is quite aggressive, yeah. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I mean, how long have you had it? Has it been quite a um, big I've had it three years. Have you? So, yeah, I bought it as one of the cheapest Mark 5s I could find within a good <laughs> travelling distance. Yeah. It's a couple of hours away. It was 1,800 quid three years ago. Wow. Quite a well-spec GTI. Yeah. Didn't have any history. Was a bit beat up, but it yeah. ran absolutely perfect. That's all we yeah. care for. That's all you need. Because you're going to change everything. Isn't yeah, free door, manual, no sunroof. That's all I wanted. Yeah. And yeah. yeah that's what there I found, and it's it's been brilliant. So Fair play. Is it a keeper forever? Do you reckon? Never say never. Never, never say never. Sell at the right price. Yeah. But, um, I, I thought about N threes, but they're yeah. just going a bit too silly price wise. I'd be a bit too scared to put one of those in a tire wall. Whereas this, yeah, yeah, goes in a tire wall. It's just another goal. That's Buy another goal. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't um, want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happens, happens, it's not it an happens. option. It's not something you want to do, but yeah. Ah, fair play. It's uh, to be honest, always going in a track car on the road. It sounds silly. It's almost more fun than going in a track car on the track. Yeah. Because it's not designed to be here, so it's just completely out of the ordinary. It's completely different. Obviously, on a track, a road like this is it's maybe a little bit wider again. So yeah. You, on a track, I feel like you don't feel how quick you're going because you've got nothing else to compare it to. And they're so smooth. Yeah. I suppose. But yeah, no, it's an epic thing. Really, really cool. I'm glad to finally get it on the channel after so yeah. long as well. But I think probably we should get it on track for a video one time. Yeah, definitely. Be well, cool. um, we'll sort out a track though with your golf as well. Definitely, and... yeah. That'll be wicked fun. Maybe like a subscribers track day. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. That'll be really cool. Yeah, yeah. Just get together all the all the track cars which I've filmed over the years. That'll be mega. But.